Roller Derby to me means family and badass bitches and fun. It's not one of those sports where you have to like overthink things and you get like burnt out of it. It's fun every day. Like I'd rather do this than go work. My name is Daytona Biatch. My roller derby name is Penny Pincher. My roller derby name is Iona Double One. My roller derby name is Ennis Lincoln Brady. Roller Girls on A&E introduced me to roller derby, um, really gave me the idea that roller derby is back and uh, tried to find a league. Um, I remember when I was probably about 10 watching Roller Jam every night on FX and then heard about the Texas Roller Girls, went and saw them in Texas, uh, saw some Atlanta and then ended up finding out from friends and co-workers about this team and just joined it next day. I got introduced to roller derby about when I was 15 through Roller Jam through Universal Studios. I was on a speed skate team and got invited to go do it. So I've been doing it for a long time. Before I started Derby, I I didn't know anything about it. I didn't know anything about the rules. I didn't know anything about what it really took. Like, I didn't know anything. I just knew that it looked like a whole lot of fun. So I decided to do it. Bank track, crazy, um, hitting people is all I knew about Derby when I first started. Um, and then I learned a lot more when I joined. There's a track that's a little like shaped like an egg. So there's a wide turn and a narrow turn. And then you have a pack which consists of uh, four girls from each team that are intertwined. And then while you're in the pack, there's two girls up front that are called the pivot and they have the stripe on their helmet. They are in charge of the whole pack. And then you have two girls in the back which are the jammers. They're the ones with the stars on their helmet. The first jammer to make it through the pack without stepping out of bounds is the lead jammer. And the, the strategy of getting lead jammer is that you can call off the jam before the full two minutes, because a jam is two minutes long, um, maximum. So if you're a lead jammer and say the girl is starting to score more points and you don't want her to, the jammer hits her hips and the, the jam's called and a new one starts, so they can't get any more points. You make it through um, the pack the first time. On your second pass through, every person that you pass without being out of bounds, you score a point for. Um, my friends and family, most of them are fairly supportive of me playing derby. My daddy really, really doesn't like it, but um, everybody else is pretty cool with it. They think I'm a little weird because I'm showing them like giant bruises and skin that's been torn off from the rinks. But my mom tells everyone that her daughter's a roller derby queen, so she likes it. Uh, my family loves it. My daughter's my biggest supporter. Uh, my mom said, "Just don't die." And my grandma said that she played it when she was younger. My friends, of course, they either play or they come to the bouts. Um, that's really all that you need to be a derby player. You can be the crappiest skater in the world, but if you want to play and you want to skate, then you're going to be a great derby player. Somebody who's going to back you and stand by you, even if they're not a great skater, they're still out there giving their best and they're at least helping you like get your jammer through the plaque or balking the other jammers. It's it's a wide variety. Like we have great teammates who aren't great skaters, but they're great out there for support. Like when you're tired and you can't push through the pack anymore, they're cheering you through as you're skating with them. I would say the one thing that we look for most out of anybody is your attitude and your your willingness to, to do things. If you have an awesome attitude and you're willing to work at anything and willing to help out the team in any way, then that makes a good derby girl. And just to keep trying. I mean, you see, we get hit. When you get hit, you all you want to do is just lay back down on the ground. But I said you got to get up and try to whoop the girl's ass in front of you. Even if you don't like people personally, it's kind of like a sorority where you just put up with them because you're part of the league. And um, so we all just get together because we love derby. Um, probably the fact that we're all really weird. We go out after the bars, we'll get a little tipsy, we'll have fun though, but it's still just, we all have fun. If you want to see the girls bond, alcohol does it. Roller derby means to me, therapy. <laughs> Going out, getting your anger out, having some fun with your friends, and uh, getting a shit talk a lot. It's my favorite thing in the world to do. For me, it's just relaxation. Like, it's really fun. It, it lets you, like, act crazy. Um, roller derby means a lot to me. Um, 
I was going through a really rough time when I joined Roller Derby. Um, got around some really strong, supportive women. Uh, women that aren't afraid to say what they want to say, and that's been really great. Um, I just think that roller derby's made me a slightly more outgoing. I'm a really shy person, uh, so obviously I have to be more outgoing with my derby persona. I have to talk to people, which is really hard for me, so that's really been, it's come a long way for that. It's given me a few more bruises, and it's given me a little bit more of an attitude, but not really. It allowed me to just grow and like have fun and be myself, joke around, not stress. Um, I am going to play derby until I physically am unable to, or if the sport dies, which it's not going to, because it's amazing. Um, probably until they pull me off the rink and say, you have no more legs. But I'll keep going. There's got to be some kind of like handicap roller derby. But yeah, like Energizer Bunny is a grandmother and she plays, so I still got another 30 years. <laughs> I don't know. Has roller derby changed my life? No, <laughs> not really. I'm pretty much as violent out in the real world too. <laughs>